What is going on guys? Brand new year. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded because I got a bunch of other videos. But today we are going to be working on the Mazda 3 and we are going to be taking off the trunk lid and putting on a new trunk lid back there. Got a trunk. So if you guys know, the Mazda 3 has the GT wing bolted into the trunk that is on the car right now. And a while ago I went and picked up a new trunk lid without the wing because I don't like the wing on the car. And since Christmas is over and I don't have the Christmas lights on the car anymore, I decided that we'll be swapping it over today. As this video is being made, the trunk situation with the leak hasn't been fixed yet. We'll probably diagnose it later on today. I don't know if I've made a video on fixing the issue yet. We will see when obviously this is uploaded. But anyways, we're gonna get straight into this with the trunk lid swap. I'll show you step by step on how to do this. This trunk lid for 10 bucks from a uh, fella selling, like, selling it on Craigslist who bought a parted out one from a record. It's not brand new by any means. It has some dings and scratches on it, but with the one that's on the car already, it's probably a lot worse, especially with the wing, just makes it look like a piece of poop. Okay, so we have the stock lid right here. Like I said, big wing, not cool. And it's also black, which is not cool. Um, some things with the stock lid, where is it? It's got like egg shrapnel on it from back in the days when kids didn't like this whip and they like to bully it. Um, and then the Evil M is also gonna go too because I don't, I'm not in that phase anymore. But uh, as for the leak. Please sir, can I have some food? <laughs> Open up the trunk today and it was like filled with water once again, so not cool. But anyways, uh, so we are going to be taking this lid off, which it basically gets held on by a couple bolts on the side. And then we also have to take the grommet off, which there's a clip inside. And uh, we're going to have to melt this because there's a seal around here that was put in because there was a leak previously with the car. So we'll melt this out. And basically you just pop this out, take all these off, and then just replace it as that. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. This is the clip that connects so we'll be removing that and then the uh, new trunk also comes with the clip. So if we come in here, this is the new trunk like I said, a couple dings, there's a dent right there and I think there's scratch. Uh, other than that, it's got fresh badging and a nice badge. Um, we'll be be swapping over the tail lights and probably this third brake light too. Um, but other than that, I have all the things required plus the wiring harness right there which comes in stock anyway so let's go ahead and swap her over all right so we're inside the trunk so the clip is out we melted this got that piece off now we're gonna go ahead and take these bolts off those are 12 and there are two on each side with that being done this should basically work and come just right off Freedom. Trunk is gone. Really easy, actually. So now that that's gone, I'm gonna do a Mr. Colton detail in the trunk jams and get this all cleaned up because it's a little icky. Okay, so we got the trunk all back together. The lock cylinders, all the lights are back in here. I cleaned it up a little bit so she's ready to go back in onto the car. Hopefully this is paint matched properly. I was going to keep the other trunk lid, but because the whole plan was to put another big wing on it because that one already has holes in it. But I think I might just keep this as the main one and just kind of keep that one in case. Because this one's a lot more cleaner with the paint. I don't really want to put the other one back on and do all this again. So we'll see. Um, obviously, because this car is going to have a repaint. I don't know, because this is going to probably come off anyway. So she's ready to go back on. Okay, and the trunk has been put on. Just doing the uh, badges right now real quick. Probably have to put them on a different day. But anyways, don't need to film that. I've done so many badge videos. But anyways, trunk is all good to go. Very glad with how it looked. And the trunk is also in better condition. So thank you all for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content with the Mazda 3. Still fixing the leaky trunk. It's gonna be a weekend project. Hopefully figure something out with that because it's getting a pain. Other than that, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.